Assalamualaikum. Hello, I'm Teacher Ida Murni Jamari from YMS Edutech Learning Hub. Inshallah, we help students to improve in math and science by two grades in less than three months. So Alhamdulillah, in this video series of SCORE A Star for PSL in Math, I will be sharing with you 10 heuristic type of concepts that you need to know in order to excel for your PSL in Math, Inshallah. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the first heuristic concept or the non-routine type of problem sum, and that is remainder concept. Remainder concept can also be categorized as part whole concept. This concept usually deals with fractions or percentages of remainders. One way to identify this concept is the use of the word remainder in the problem itself. This concept can be solved either by model drawing or branch method. However, model drawing may get a little bit too complicated. Hence, branch method is the preferred method in solving remainder concept. Hence, in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to solve a problem on remainder concept using branch method. If you're ready, let's take a look at a question. A shopkeeper bought 360 kilograms of flour. He sold 35% of it at $1.20 per kilogram. He then packed two-thirds of the remainder into packets of 4 kilograms each. He sold all the packets at $2.20 each. How many packets of 4 kilogram each did he pack and how much did he collect altogether? Let us highlight the important keywords. So a shopkeeper bought 360 kilogram of flour. He sold 35% of it at $1.20 per kilogram. He then packed two thirds of the remaining into packets of 4 kilograms each. He sold all the packets at $2.20 each. So the question is asking, how many packets of 4 kilograms each did he pack? And how much did he collect all together? First thing first, what we can do is to convert our percentage into fraction. In this case, I have 35%. So 35% sold. That will give us 35 out of 100. Change to simplest form, that is 7 out of 20. And now we can start with our branching method in solving this question. So this problem is talking about flour. So I'm going to start off by writing the word flour. 360 kilograms. And it says he sold 35% of it. So that means he sold 7 out of 20 of 360 kilogram. That makes up 126 kilograms. And he packed two thirds of the remainder. So if he has sold 7 out of 20 of the flour, that means he had 13 out of 20 flour left. So we multiply by 360 kilogram, that makes up 234 kilogram. So this is the remainder. And he packed two thirds of the remainder, so that will be two thirds of 234. That makes up 156 kilograms. 
So if he packed two thirds of the remainder, he will have one third of the remainder left. So now we can answer part A. How many packets of four kilograms each did he pack? So A, he packed 156 divided by four. That gives us 39 packets. But B, how much did he collect all together? So the shopkeeper collected 126 packets for $1.20. And he also sold the remaining packets, 39 packets, at $2.20. So eventually he collected $237 altogether. So there you have it. I have showed you how to solve a remainder type of concept using branch method. It is fast free, it is easy, and inshallah you will derive the answers correctly. So if you find this video useful, like it, share it, and inshallah I'll see you in the next video.